Okay, everybody, so we just got an email that, and they offered their defever for 100 bucks. If this boat was on the East Coast, it would be a no-brainer, 100%. We're, we would have already bought it, sight unseen. <laughs> are you changing the mind? Uh, I don't know what I'm thinking. Like, are we absolutely freaking crazy for even considering it? Hey guys, so we just said bye to Sydney and Gus, and then Spencer left a little while ago. Um, but like we mentioned, on the top of the mountain, we really need to go explore that option of the one from Colorado. So we reached out and we said, we can't get there yet. Are you willing to hold it for us? And they said, if you pay for the slip, we're happy to hold it for however long you want. How long we're paying for the slip? <laughs> yeah, however, yeah, whatever. Lord. So we're paying for the slip. We have a few things left to do up here in this area, Washington and Oregon, but then we're gonna head straight to San Francisco, basically. Go check out this Defever. Behind the scenes, we've been talking so much about this boat and some other boats that you guys have sent us. So thank you guys so much. And what our next move is gonna be. And this one's just so tough. If this boat was on the East Coast, it would be a no-brainer, 100%. We're, we would have already bought it, sight unseen. But it's in San Francisco, so it looks like shipping is not a reasonable option at all, like over 20 grand to land ship it, and that's after you take the flybridge off. Shipping, shipping is still expensive, and like they're jammed up right now too. Maybe someday through the Panama Canal. But for now, we're thinking if the, this boat's even feasible, if it's in good enough shape and we want to buy it, We'll just have a boat on the, on the California coast. I wonder if it moves. I, don't, I think it sat here for a while. Here it is. What do you think? Wow. <laughs> this is incredible. It definitely needs some work. Guys, so this is a 1978 De Fever 43 foot trawler. De Fevers are just very well known names in the trawler world. I think this thing's been sitting for years. I don't know when the last time it was taken out. We're in contact with the previous owner. Cool looking boat, definitely needs some work, but we gotta really dig into it and see exactly what it needs. I mean, be getting a good deal on it, but sometimes the uh, free boat can be the most expensive boat. We're gonna be just poking around all the hatches and windows and fittings and see if there's any soft core, how much leakage there is. There's definitely some leakage, but see how much. See if we get the engine started. Supposedly they both start up, so check that out. Look at the stringers, some of the other systems. What else are we looking at? Everything. Okay, what are you finding up here? I mean, pretty neglected up here, unfortunately. Just like rotten hatch covers and stuff like that. Uh, hatch covers are easy. I Replace know. them with PVC, uh, the, plastic. They're not the worst that could it could be. Up here is a little worse than I thought, but I guess what do you expect when it's just been uncovered out in the Like soft elements. deck or what do you mean worse? I haven't checked the decks up here yet, but just, I don't know, just the whole thing. It's just super exposed and I'm sure there's stuff leaking into here. Like the rest down there, everything I tapped around, the windows and stuff, definitely some like water intrusion, but definitely not like a really super dull thud where the wood is completely rotted underneath. So do you think all the windows have to come out or you could seal them from the outside? I have no idea. Certainly possible to seal them from the outside. Like you could certainly redo like that whole exterior surface, clean up the window, clean up the surface, paint, and then like seal them from the outside. But is that Good too much of a short term job, you know? Quick fix. Well, either way, it is exciting getting back 
on a boat. That is for sure. I'll show you downstairs. Definitely some soft wood all around this thing, but it looks like it was re epoxied from the outside. Ooh, I love this mirror. The headliner is going to be a thing, but everywhere else up here, the headliner still looks good. Who's getting excited to see Billy Sierra and Jenny back on a trawler? Because I am. Let's see, what can we test out here? Galley lights on, lounge lights on. a good sign. That's a good sign. Maybe a new bulb is needed. Aha! We got some cabinet doors that could easily be put back on. We got an oven here. Stove. Sink. Water pump. Fresh water. What do you think? Could this be our new home? I'm liking her, I'm liking her. This looks like refrigerator turned into storage. I hope those things still work. Um, freezer turned into storage again. Not sure if that's just sun damage from not being taken care of and like re varnishing ever so often or if it's from water. It still sounds like it works. <laughs> now this is what I'm talking about. I've always had a dream of having a bed that we can get on from both sides and our C1 is going to have that but this one has it too and it looks like this might even be a king size bed. <laughs> There is so much storage in this boat. I have to say, almost every boat we've ever got, bought, was completely filled with somebody else's stuff. And like going through these drawers, like they're pretty much empty. Like, that's kind of crazy. We've never had that before. I love, I love these things. Okay, I'm always scared to do this, but. Ooh. Oh, I like that. What else can we get into? Ooh, this one. What was your name again? Ken. Ken and Billy and Sierra. Awesome. We'll be digging around this thing for a couple hours more time. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, that's yeah, the exactly. step. Thank you, man. Billy, stand on the steps. The steps? Where? Here? The one in the middle. Okay. <laughs> I can stick my finger through it. Oh, I think I saw that. Your ancestors that well? Wow. Spare. Wait. We gotta show you what we just found. <laughs> this is where they keep the spare propeller. <laughs> I hope it's not just structural. <laughs> no, I hope it's not the propeller. That's so crazy. Look at these uh, port lights. Look at they're huge. They're like big bronze port lights. They're so heavy though. Oh, you can open them. 
Yeah, they have these huge, they call them dogs. They're pretty. They're really pretty. And they were like painted over on the outside, it looks like. And it, it looks like, I, mean, I don't know if there's a core. Yeah, there must be a core. Because it's fiberglass up here, like under the ceiling panels, which are not really existent in this room, is really thick fiberglass. And there must be a core and then it's deck. Like on our trawler, I don't know if we have that. Do you guys see the potential? Do you think people are gonna hate us for painting over all of this? Well, there's this, no. There's no saving that. I mean, you could do redo veneer or something like that, but I think uh, having chart wallpaper back there would be pretty dang cool. Shout out to the boat project. There's just so many places to look like that. Oh man, that's a big boat. Should we check out the engine room? Yeah. Right, this is wild. Original tanks though. That's the fuel tank? Um, yep, definitely one of them. Does it look bad? I mean, let's see. You can't, ah, man, can you tell? I don't know. Um, uh, let me try to find, let me try to get these lights on. Even if the batteries are toast, if we're plugged into shore power, bam, got the sunlight. <laughs> are you changing your mind? Uh, I don't know what I'm thinking. Like, are we absolutely freaking crazy for even considering this? It could be, like, you you could see the potential and you could see the potential. <laughs> but I also know how much work all the little things really take. Like, how much time it takes, how much money it takes. Like, what if this, what if that, like, where to start. <laughs> oh, man. So this, it's completely full of oil under here, which is kind of a scary sign. The oil dipstick should be on this side. Here it is. There's oil. There is oil in it. it smells like oil. I wonder if there's a dipstick on both sides. It smells like, a little bit like exhaust, but not too bad. Is alarming. What, this? Yeah. I mean, not necessarily. Like, you could look at it two different ways. You can be like, yes, they're not leaking. <laughs> there's no fuel in here. So they're there fine. Don't worry not about be it. Any fuel in there. Like, there's no signs of leaking, blah, blah, blah. But you could also look at it like, yeah, there could be not f any fuel in here, yeah. And you could also look at it like, all these metal tanks, it's just a matter of time. Unless previous owner was anal about keeping moisture away, keeping this engine room aerated. But if not, then drips and stuff got on it. If the boat sat with some moisture in the fuel, that could corrode from the inside out. Is that fuel? That's, those are fuel filters. Yeah, nice ray cores. That one is, oh wow, that one is gunked up. Definitely some sediment in there. Uh, a little bit of sediment in there. Are we crazy? Right, guys, are we crazy? <laughs> Are we crazy for even considering this? Especially for the fact that we're on the complete other side of the country when we have a lot of tools, but oh. about thousands and thousands of miles away. We do have tools here, and this boat, I've definitely seen some tools on this boat, but we definitely need some more. I hope you're having fun looking at a boat with us. <laughs> Well, besides the fact that some of this stuff might not work, would you be excited about working on them here? Yeah, this is the biggest engine room I've ever had the opportunity to work in. Look, I don't even have to crouch. Yeah. <laughs> I got full standing headroom in That's here. That's amazing. Okay, so the real question is, is what could go wrong if you spend $100 and get a 44-foot boat? Well, my concern is sinking. Billy's concern is the engines are completely trashed and there's no saving them. We oh. can't start them, so we don't really know what the deal is. And these engines are pretty bulletproof. The only thing that'll kill them is overheating them. But that one doesn't have any coolant. Yeah, this one is completely em empty of coolant. So, yeah, unless they're seized. I mean, eventually they generally need a head gasket, which isn't a huge job. We're trying to convince ourselves that maybe this isn't a good idea, but we're not really finding anything to tell us otherwise. Like we're thinking like even these seacocks are pretty corroded, but it's hard to tell just from looking at them. I mean, that's a huge issue if they are, if they're too corroded, like your boat could sink. But even if they are too corroded, if we can get the boat 
to a boatyard and they have to be replaced, like if you have to replace the through holes, that's a big job. But for a boat like this, it's kind of worth it. So should we get it? <laughs> yes, no, maybe. No, maybe. Yeah. I don't freaking know. <laughs> We need a sign, one way or the other. That one opens, we didn't, uh, we didn't sink. Okay, we have been here for hours. It's been a long day, a bit overwhelmed. We have looked through every single cabinet, every single drawer, poked and prodded at every single thing possible. And we're still like, not even close to exploring everything. We still didn't get the engine started, but what did you chest? What did you try to do? Well, one engine needs the water pump put back to, back on, a new water pump, and then uh, the battery the battery shot. So I don't know. We'll try to charge it a little more tomorrow. I added some distilled water, so we'll see if we can charge it up tomorrow. We can see if we get the engine started, get the water pump on the other one, see if we get that one started. Ugh, yeah, I don't know. It's well, a big boat. <laughs> It's a bigger boat than we've ever had before. There's a lot more systems than we've ever had before. We're not making any decisions right now. I think we need like a whole nother day to come back and explore and like, I don't know. Would you buy this boat for $100? Next time. Maybe next time we'll have an answer for you. Alright, let's get something to eat. But the real question is, is do you want to buy this boat? Here's a moment of truth. Let's try to start one up. Wait, what are you doing? You can't do vital things without me. Oh, he. Aww. <laughs>